What's up everybody, this is Oscar Alcala, DP and cinematographer for Sammy's Camera, and this is the Panasonic Lumix GH6. So if you're a content creator or videographer and you're looking for a new camera, then this is the camera for you, and we've got the footage to back it up. So we took the GH6 out to Ladyface Brewery in Agora, California, to put it through its paces by creating a documentary promo piece for the one year anniversary. Now before I roll the test footage, let's go over the camera specs and see what's new. The GH6 is a mirrorless Micro Four Thirds camera. It offers unlimited video recording, high resolution bit rates, and a powerful image stabilization. The GH6 looks pretty similar to its predecessor, the GH5, but don't let the looks fool you. The internals in this camera are all new, so let's start with the new sensor. Now the GH6 hosts a brand new 25.2 megapixel sensor and it's the highest resolution sensor ever found in a Micro Four Thirds camera body. Another key feature of the GH6 is the dynamic range boost mode. This feature combines different parts of an exposure to give you a wider dynamic range, delivering more than 13 stops of dynamic range. This means much more information to recover from shadows and highlights with much less noise. The new Venus engine is twice as fast as any other Lumex model, but includes upgrades beyond speed. It renders diagonal lines such as hair more faithfully, improves noise reduction in photos, and improves pattern noise, image quality, and color at high ISO values when shooting video. Like many premium camera bodies, the GH6 is built around a magnesium alloy body that's fully weather sealed. The most significant change relative to earlier GH models is the built-in fan. The fan is critical to supporting the camera's advanced video features and is one of the reasons this camera is capable of unlimited recording time. The fan and the camera's chassis are designed to cool the processor and the CF Express card slot. The camera includes two card slots, a UHS-2 SD card slot that takes V90 cards and a CF Express Type B slot. The CF Express Type B is required for any video modes capturing at or greater than 800 megabytes per second. A full size HDMI port also supports output up to 4K60. Additionally, there's a new microphone button on the top plate. This button takes you straight into the camera's audio settings, and that is huge. So I think the GH6 is a great camera for anybody. I mean, if you're just starting out in video or photo or you're a content creator, you know, you've got all the features that you need, but if you move up in your career or let's say, you know, you want to shoot a short or something like that with the resolutions and the color codex in this camera, you're going to be able to produce some really nice looking footage and compete with some of the higher and more expensive cameras out there. All right, guys, now let's go over resolutions and formats of this camera because it is quite a list. Now, this camera can capture 422 in cinema 4K, 10-bit video at 60p, while simultaneously outputting the same signal over HDMI to an external recorder for nearly unlimited recording time. The GH6 can also capture 420 5.7K 10-bit video at up to 60p, and 420 5.8K 10-bit video at up to 30p. Also 4.4K at 60p in a squeezed anamorphic 4.3 format that uses the entire sensor. Moreover, 5.7K 30p video can be recorded internally in Apple ProRes 422 HQ and ProRes 422 using the CF Express card slot. Now, the common downside of mirrorless cameras is that when they're shooting video, a lot of them tend to use a crop portion of the sensor, which impacts both the angle of view and the image quality, but not so on the GH6. It's able to use the entire 4.3 sensor, which means uncropped video in nearly all modes. Panasonic has already announced a future firmware update that will support output of 4K 120p to a Ninja 5 Plus recorder over HDMI. Thanks to the new ultra high precision gyro sensor, 
Panasonic says that the GH6 can correct handshake up to 7.5 stops, even in the telephoto range. Now that's up from five stops on the GH5 and 6.5 stops on the GH5 Mark II. Now that's an improvement. Panasonic was one of the first mirrorless camera makers to provide extended support for audio. Thanks to its excellent internal preamp and the DMW XLR1 adapter, the GH6 has the ability to capture four channel audio when using the XLR adapter. Using the XLR1, we can capture two audio channels and two additional channels can be captured using the camera's 3.5 millimeter microphone port. This gives us 96 kilohertz, 24 bit audio when used with external microphones. It's possible to monitor all four channels individually while recording. The camera also has a dedicated audio button in the camera's top plate. This will probably be very popular amongst video shooters as it allows you to quickly go straight into your audio settings at the touch of a button. There are so many more features to this camera, but now I think it's time for us to roll that juicy GH6 footage. My name is Dave Griffiths. I'm the brewmaster here at Tavern Tomoko and Ladyface Brewery, and welcome to the brew house. Ladyface started uh, originally in the garage, and then in 2009, I co-founded the company uh, with a neighbor, uh, and now Pete is the owner, and Pete and I are out here making beer and having fun together. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Pete Lee. I'm the uh, owner and proprietor of Tavern Tomoko and Ladyface Brewery. So I've been in the uh, corporate sector for 20, 20 plus years, and uh, it's been uh, a dream of mine to own and operate a brewery. I think a lot of guys uh, in my age uh, kind of dream about doing something different. And uh, when this opportunity came up, uh, I jumped at it. We're actually standing inside the brew house. Uh, this is kind of the stove, the, uh, the operational side, uh, where we're mixing all the barley and the hops and the fermentations happening. Uh, and then there's another side that we're not standing in right now where all the finished beer and where the fun part happens. But this is where all the work happens. Uh, the brew deck is right here and this is consistent of a mash tun, a hot liquor tank, and a kettle. Uh, and then these tanks on the right side are fermentation tanks and this is where it's actually turning the raw materials into alcohol, into beer. Uh, and then eventually uh, everything will be chilled down to a cold temperature and we'll either filter it or just transfer it to the finished side. Now we're here in front of the serving tanks. Uh, so we were on the brew house side where everything gets made and turned uh, into beer. And this is where the actual beer is being stored in the serving tanks behind me. Uh, and basically this is where the fun happens. It goes directly from the serving tanks to the bar top uh, and straight to a glass for the consumer. Hey, uh, I'm John Holyfield, uh, bartender at Tavern Tomoko and Ladyface uh, Brewery. Um, been here a while. We have many, many, many good beers. Uh, every kind of style you can imagine. We got blondes. We have a bunch of Belgians, some, uh, definitely being in California, you have to have a bunch of IPAs. Uh, my personal favorite, as with a lot of people in this neighborhood, is our Chesbro. Chesbro Double. Where is it? We call it Ches, Chesy. We have a mascot called Chesy. Right now we have 12 beers on tap, but throughout the year we normally do about 30 to 40 different beers. Well, the Lady Face is actually the mountain that's outside, so that's an easy one. I'm born and raised in Agora, so I'm, I'm a local boy. Um, I actually live on Chesbro, and that's where uh, the original recipe when I was home brewing a long time ago, 20 years ago, came from. 
so the Chesbro is a, has a special place in my heart just because it's a, something that I dragged from a long time ago and it's still one of our fan favorites here. I'm, I'm just happy that uh, we're still rolling. You know, it's been 13 years ultimately from the time we started. Uh, it's been three years now with Pete and I'm so glad that Pete picked up the, uh, the gauntlet and started running with it. And I'm, I'm just proud to be still making beer in the Conejo Valley, it's awesome. Uh, we get people every day that come back in here and go, hey, what happened to Ladyface? And I go, we're still here, um, but we're just a different restaurant. And we start to tell them about our concept, which is a Japanese and American gastropub food and uh, we still brew Ladyface uh, beer. Uh, I have the same brewer since I uh, took over. His name is Dave Griffiths, and um, we've been having fun um, making beer and uh, being innovative with, with new flavors. And so, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun and trying to get back, um, get back to making this a great place in Agora Hills. Wow, that footage was amazing, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this new video on the Panasonic GH6. If you guys wanna learn more about this camera, make sure to visit us at one of Sammy's Camera Southern California locations, or check us out at sammys.com, where we are so much more than a camera store.